So, yeah, so we had empires. In Europe, we had empires. Everyone had France and Spain and, and Britain and, and Turkey, the Ottoman Empire, full of furniture for some reason. <laughs> and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, famous for fuck all. <laughs> yeah, so all they did was slowly collapse like a flan in a cupboard. <laughs> and the German Empire, very organized, always build an empire. Eins, zwei, eins, zwei, build an empire, very Prussian. And then they'd celebrate with the World War and then lose the whole fucking empire by the end of the war. <laughs> In the 30s, Hitler, Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, Second World War, Russian Front, not a good idea. Hitler never played Risk when he was a kid. Because, <laughs> you know, playing Risk, you could never hold on to Asia. That Asian, Eastern European area, you could never hold it, could you? Seven extra men at the beginning of every go, but you couldn't fucking hold it. <laughs> Australasia, that was the one, Australasia. All the purples, get everyone on Papua New Guinea and just build up and build up. <laughs> And Hitler ended up in a ditch covered in petrol on fire. So, that's fun. <laughs> I think that's funny. Because he was a mass-murdering fuckhead. <laughs> and that was his honeymoon as well. Double trouble. Hey. <laughs> Ava, let's marry him. Where should our honeymoon be? Well, in a ditch covered in petrol on fire. <laughs> I've already arranged it upstairs. Oh, how romantic, Adolf. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> fun. What a bastard. And he was a, a, a vegetarian and a painter, so he must have been going, I can't get the fucking trees. Damn, I will kill everyone in the world! <laughs> and he was a mass murdering fuckhead, as many uh, important historians have said. And, um... <laughs> but the other mass murderers got away with it. Stalin killed many millions, died in his bed. Well done there. <laughs> Pol Pot killed 1.7 million Cambodians, died under house arrest, age 72. Well done indeed. And the reason we let it, them get away with it is because they killed their own people. And we're sort of fine with that. <laughs> oh, help yourself, you know. <laughs> We've been trying to kill you for ages, so you kill your own people. Oh, right on that. <laughs> Seems to be. Hitler killed people next door. Oh, stupid man. <laughs> After a couple of years, we won't stand for that, will we? <laughs> So, and, and Pol Pot was a history teacher, and Hitler was a, you know, a vegetarian painter. So, mass murders come from the areas you least expect it. I don't know how the flip comes over, but it happens. So, yeah, so there was a lot of that, and we built up empires. We stole countries. That's, what you do. That's how you build an empire. We stole countries with the cunning use of flags. Yeah. <laughs> you just sail around the world and stick a flag in. I claim India for Britain. And they go, you can't claim us, we live here. <laughs> 500 million of us. Do you have a flag? <laughs> we don't need a bloody flag, it's our country, you bastard. <laughs> no flag, no country, you can't have one. <laughs> That's the rules that I've just made up. And I'm backing it up with this gun that was lent from the National Rifle Association. <laughs> that was it, you know. And Queen Victoria became Empress of India. She never even fucking went there, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. And the Second World War, after the Second World War, that's when all the empires sort of dissolved. And uh, we didn't, we came first in the Second World War, but, we, you know, we were financially fucked by the end of the Second World War. Because there was a period of time, it was just us and the Nazis. And, and, and they'd been making weapons for ages. They had head start. We were going, get the tanks out, get the, we haven't got any tanks, get that ice cream van out there, get it out there. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> all right, oh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> everything, just throw everything at them, just. That's not harder. Orange fruities and zooms. Throw the zooms. Or... Fuck off, you bastard. <laughs> pots and pans. Get pots. Just throw the pots and pans at them. So the, by the time America came in, because you were watching a US cavalry film, because the US cavalry always comes in just towards the end of the film. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, let's go, America. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ah, I love the smell of Europe in the morning. <laughs> so, how are you doing? And we were going, fucking hell, where have you been? <laughs> Ah, uh, having breakfast. <laughs> so, what's going on? Hey. So, America did well, Russia did well, and, and, and they deservedly so, because half a million American soldiers died, half a million British soldiers died, and about 26 million Russian soldiers died. 
soldiers and, and civilians. And, and that's just 50 times as many. It's just unfucking believable. You know, and no one mentions this. This is just figures I discovered. And that's very, that's why they put up, because I mean, Napoleon had been steaming in there, you know, 100 years before. Yeah. I'm going to kill them, going to kill them. I'm going to go, oh, it's a bit cold, it's a bit cold. <laughs> Right. Okay, okay, bad idea. Um, and then Hitler, I've got a better idea, got a better idea. Oh, it's the same idea, it's the same idea. It's the same idea. So no wonder they set up the Eastern Bloc. You know, they wanted a buffer zone. It wasn't fair, but that's what they did. So they're kind of, you know, that's where they're coming from. And there's about 20 million Germ uh, Nazi Germans died, but they did start it. They did start that one. And, uh, yeah, so it was that. And, and France hated the war because, you know, southern France was collaborating with the Germans. Embarrassing. So since then, they've been kind of spiky and kind of French. And uh, <laughs> I'm very positive on the French. I, my family way back was French, so I'm just, yeah, I go with it. But they are kind of well, fucking French at times. <laughs> All of Europe, you must do this. Well, we're not going to. Uh, we're going to have a sandwich. And Germany and Japan, they, they do seem to have a natural instinct uh, in, in a very generalized way for organization and, and being military. But, there were, you know, there's a very strong Green Party there now. There's kids with beards. It's getting okay. And uh, I just think that J Japan and Germany should be the, 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 the peacekeepers of the world. They should be parachuted in whenever something breaks out. Parachute Germans and Japanese in. Who go, look, we've done this before. We've done the killing. Hello. Take it from us. Just chill, chill out. All right? <laughs> and that they organize peace really efficiently, really quickly. All right, peace, 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 peace is organized. It'd be brilliant if they could do it. That's their destiny, man, yeah. And Italy invented fascism in 1922. Mussolini said, right, we're all fascists, but most Italian people are always on scooters going, ciao. <laughs> and they're into football and life, and they're not fascists, you know. He said, we're all fascists. Uh, all right, ciao. <laughs> no helmet on. All those 50s films like Roman Holiday, it's just like that. Everyone's just cool and hangs out. <laughs> so after the Second World War, the whole you know, world was going, come on, Europe, give these countries back. Come on, you know, we've had a bloody war, let's give them back. Britain, what? <laughs> What's that behind your back? Oh, it's India and a number of other countries. <laughs> give them back. Oh, all right, there's that one there, there's that one there, there's that one there. <laughs> Falkland Islands, oh, we need the Falkland Islands. <laughs> for strategic sheep purposes. <laughs> yeah. And then it was a case of no empire no longer.